Hey, so I wanted to give you guys some extra tools to use to help you be able to warm up for workouts, but also to recover from workouts. So I'm going to show you guys this routine that I've been doing, and I'm also going to show you another one after this to kind of add on to that that's a little more dynamic that you can kind of alternate with this one um, as you choose, or you can combine the two however you want. And so it'll kind of just be up to you to do what you will want with it. Um, only thing you need, mat, floor, uh, foam roller. I got mine on the Amazon for like 10 bucks. Um, a strap or a belt or just something you can hook over your toes. Um, and then a chair, couch, bench, whatever you have available to raise you up. So before we start anything, we're going to get the foam roller out and we're going to roll our legs. So I want to roll from top to bottom, so I'll probably show this way. So I'm going to get on here, I'm going to sit on this, really sitting on one side, and I'm getting just underneath that top of my hip bone right here. And I'm just kind of, excuse me, working my way down on my, my glute muscle. I'm getting a little bit to the side as I go, but mostly straight underneath. And so just working that, keep working down my leg. As I get to my hamstring, I'm pretty much staying directly underneath the leg. I don't want to start coming down the side of the leg. I don't want to mess with the IT band at all. Um, just wiggling this out. You can go back and forth, side to side if you want. But just working your way down, spending more and more than like 10 seconds on each body part. Um, as you go down, getting the back of the knee as well. Going down onto the calf. If you need more pressure, a lot of times I'll put the other leg on top. And especially with the calf, I'll roll side to side. Just keep working your way down that calf as you go side to side, back and forth, all the way to the Achilles. So I'm not missing any bit of the back side of my legs. And then when I get there, I'm just switching over, starting at the bottom working my way back up, all the way back up. I'm just doing that one time, each side. And then we're gonna flip over, and gonna hit everything from the top of the hip down to the top of the knee. And so once again, coming just underneath the hip bone here, working that hip flexor first. So I'm gonna be here, back and forth, get a little bit on the side of it. But like I said, never directly on the side. So I don't wanna go straight on the side, just a little bit in the front mostly just keep working your way down get in the front of that quad a little bit on the side and like i said working your way all the way down and go back and forth to the top of that knee switch sides um, and then we'll start the rest of the mobility routine So, first thing, just coming all the way down on the floor, I'm going to lay all the way flat, straightening both legs, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull whichever leg I'm starting with, pulling that knee in as far as I can. With the other leg, I want to also be active. I want to push the heel down on this leg to really drive this leg down flat into the ground, trying to activate my hamstring or the back of my leg. And so I'm pulling this knee in as far as I can. I'm pressing the other heel down as far as I can. And then I'm straightening this leg as much as I can. So when I straighten it, I don't want this leg to come back this way. I want to keep it tucked. So just straightening it as much as I can from there. Just going to do about 10 and then switch sides. Um, after you get done with those, what you can do next and really you can do any of these in any order you want to this is just kind of the order I do them in but move this out of the way what I do is put my arms out flat straight out from my shoulders 
This is just to prevent me from moving all over the place with my other leg. I'm gonna take one leg and I'm gonna swing it as far as I can up towards this hand. And I'm kind of keeping this leg parallel to the floor so I don't want it to be way up here or too close down there, just kind of parallel and flat. And so I'm swinging it up this way and then swinging it that way. So back and forth, trying to kick them up as high as I can towards my hands. Once again, do it 10 and then switch sides. And you can do these one set each, or you can do it two sets each, it's kind of up to you. From there, what I like to do is come up here into a V-sit, so I'm taking my legs as wide as they'll go, naturally. And then I'm gonna sit up nice and tall, even using my hands to kind of push myself upright as much as possible. Don't let your toes collapse in. If anything, roll them out a little bit. Sit up nice and tall, and then from here, what I wanna do is I'm going to, once again, actively press my heels down into the ground, trying to activate my hamstrings and my glutes as if I could lift myself off the ground. So I'm here just holding upright, pushing down into the ground really hard for like five seconds. And then I'm gonna stay tall and pulse forward for five. Just staying tall, so I'm not rounding here and reaching forward. I'm staying tall and trying to reach straight out like this. You can also kind of actively rotate out as you do that. And so five there, coming back here, pressing down to the ground really hard, using the back of the legs for five seconds, pulsing for five. And you just do that, you know, five times each. And then what I want you to do from there, coming into a 90-90 position. So 90 degrees with this front leg, so straight out from my hip, creating a 90 degree angle straight out from the hip on the side, creating a 90 degree angle. And what I wanna do is use my outside hand here to push myself upright, keep my chest square, so I want it in line with this shin. And so from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come forward, take this opposite elbow, and twist as far as I can this way. So I'm trying to twist as far as I can along this thigh, I'm trying to touch this elbow as far back as I can. So I'm twisting, as far as I can, touching. Coming back up, take a second to straighten back up, and then tuck again. Um, do that five times. Really make sure this leg is staying down flat. And then what I want you to do from here, pushing this knee down actively, we're gonna peel this one up. And so I'm gonna Push this one down, lift this knee as high as I can, staying upright. I don't want to turn towards it to make it easier. I don't want to lean away from it to make it easier. I want to stay upright, keeping my shoulders square once again, and just pulling it back as far as I can, rotating back as far as I can, and then letting it down. I'm doing that five times, and then you'll just switch sides. From there, my least favorite position, because it's the most uncomfortable or the hardest. Um, so here, butterfly, I'm gonna pull my heels into my butt as close as I can, soles of the feet together. I'm um, once again pulling myself through and tall, so I wanna use my arms and my elbows to kind of pull myself upright as high as I can. And then from there, trying to hold that position, bringing my hands together, I'm going to extend this leg out. I'm gonna try and extend it out and up as high as I can. And now I'm swinging it out as far as I can, touching, lift back up, keep it as high as you can, bring it right back in, and then try to reset, get up nice and tall if you lost some of that length as you were doing that. And once again, lift it up and out straight as high as you can, keeping those toes up, swinging it out, touch, lift, bring it back in, sit up tall. Um, do that five each side. You could also try to create something to lift it over. You could try to like have something you can measure to lift it over something higher and higher and higher and higher or farther and farther um, with each one. And then from there, what we can do, coming around, laying on my belly, very similar. And then I'm lifting and going out. You know, lay flat. I really want to make sure 
my head is flat on the mat. I don't want to prop myself up in any way, shape, or form. I don't want to like increase the arch in my back. I'm going to lay flat and I'm going to be lifting this leg up straight as far as I can and then swinging it out. So squeezing the glute before I lift, squeeze, lift as high as I can, swing it out as far as I can, touch, pick it back up as high as I can, bring it back in and down. Keeping the toes pointed straight down so I don't want to turn that leg out as I'm lifting. And just squeeze, straight leg, swing it out, touch, pick it up, and back. Um, do that like 10 times a side and switch. Once again, you can do that one set, you can do it two sets. It's kind of up to you. Does it feel like you need one? Does it feel like you need two? Um, your preference. What we're gonna do next, come in here. Uh, so since we're just activating the glutes, we'll do it this way. What I want you to do is tuck the hips. So we've talked a lot about that. I wanna tuck my hips. So bringing that tailbone under, the top of my hips come back, squeezing this glute to really engage and lock that position in place. So I don't want the hips to fall forward after I've done that. So pull them back, lock them in place. Hands up, trying to keep my hands at my bicep in line with my ear or further back. Keep them straight. And then I want to lunge forward as far as I can, trying to keep this engaged. You'll notice I lose it as I go forward, but I'm trying to keep it as long as I can as I go forward. So tucking the hips, squeezing the glutes, hand overhead, lean forward, and then pulse straight to the side over that leg that's up. So I pulse them straight to the opposite side for like three, come back, reset, tuck the hips, squeeze the glutes, hands up and back, push forward, tilt and pulse. Do that like five times, switch sides. Next thing you can do, like I said, could be first thing, could be last thing, whatever. Um, whatever order you want. And if you want to skip some things, that's fine too. Um, it's just this particular sequence I do repeatedly um, in this order for the most part. And so from here, hand comes down in line with this foot. I'm lifting this back leg and what I'm going to try and do is lower myself down in between this shoulder and this knee just pulsing down here for like three and then twisting away as far as I can for three and then pulsing back down um, I do that like five times each switch sides really trying to lower that chest like I said in between that shoulder and this knee from there, we'll use the chair. Doesn't matter which way you face it. I'm gonna face it this way. I'm gonna start on my elbow. So once again, alignment's important. Elbow is under my shoulder. A lot of you, when you do side planks, I correct you because your arm's out here. Really hard to have a lot of support and use all your strength out here as opposed to right underneath. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this top leg so top leg, bottom leg, I'm gonna take this top leg, cross it over in front. I'm gonna take my bottom leg out underneath. So kind of like a modified side plank. I'm on the side of that foot, and this leg is straight out from this hip. So it's not up here in the front, it's not way back here. It's straight out in line with my hip. Keeping this knee open and over that ankle, I'm gonna just drop down, stretching here. So using this space here to drop down into, and then I'm gonna lift straight up with my hip and arch the opposite direction. So I wanna create as much curve here as possible, reaching and arching, dropping back down, keeping that knee open and over that ankle. And if you want to, if that's too easy, if you can get down there easily, come up to a hand, you'll have more room to drop down into. Push up once again, arching back down. Do that like five times a side. Next thing we're gonna do, we've got two more things. We're gonna come here, 
creating close to a 90 degree angle, it doesn't have to be exact. Um, I'm gonna create uh, a little more than that, so a little further back, but pressing down through your heels or through your calves onto that chair, couch, bench, whatever you have. I'm going to first rotate my hips back. So when I rotate them back, I push my low back into the mat. So here, my back is arched. When I rotate my hips back, it takes away that arch in my low back. And then I'm gonna, like I said, press down in my heels, press down my calves, engaging my glutes. And I'm gonna just lift quickly, pressing my hips up. So if just coming up into a bridge. When I lift, I'm lifting everything at once. So I'm not rolling one vertebrae at a time. Everything comes up at once. Everything controls down all at once. So once again, tucking the hips, squeezing the glutes, pressing down into the chair, thrusting up, keeping everything engaged, controlled, back down. So what I don't want to see is tucking the hips and then you lose it and then coming up. So tuck the hips, press up, and then on the way back down, make sure you keep this tucked on the way back down. So don't just arch and flop back down. And then last, so do that like 10 times, one or two sets. And then the last thing, I'm gonna give you two options. So first, taking your strap, belt, whatever you got, could be a towel, or could be a band. Um, I'm bringing this over my toes or the, the ball of my foot. So I'm gonna try and straighten my legs as much as possible. I'm using this to crunch up and touch as high as I can with this opposite hand. So I'm using this to pull and help myself round and crunch higher, getting my more of my spine off the mat, reaching higher with this hand, and then I'm coming back down, rotating out with this hand, and crunching back up as high as I can. Rotating out, crunching back up. Keep your legs still, and then you just switch sides after like 30 seconds, or maybe 10 or 15 reps. I'm gonna reach up as high as I can, rotate out, reach up as high as I can, rotate out. The other option would be leaving your feet um, let me kind of modify this. Leaving your feet on the mat or on the chair, bench, whatever. I'm going to crunch up here and I'm going to hold this crunch as high as I can. So I'm really trying to pull and round myself up as high as possible. When I get there, hold that position, rotate out and back without losing any height. Like 10 or 15 of those, 30 seconds maybe stay up or release, come back up as high as you can, hold that position, rotate out and back without losing any of your height. And that's that.